Hello and welcome to a basic After Effects interface um, screencast. I'm going to be going over the basics of the interface, how to navigate, importing footage, starting compositions, you know, a bunch of stuff like that. So first let's take a look at um, After Effects. Here's the program right here. We've got the project window right here. This project window is where everything is going to be organized. This is where you keep your footage, any graphics or images or anything like that will all be imported and stored and organized in the project window. So you can do that a couple of ways. You can go to File, Import, File. And this brings up just a normal navigation window where you can search and find the footage you want. I can click on it. I can click on multiples. And I can import them all. Or I can just not click on anything, hit Open, brings in the whole folder. So that's one way of doing it. Another way is you can just drag and drop the footage, the file, the picture, whatever you want right into the project window. Or just double click right in the emptiness of the project window, brings up the same import file. We got some footage here. Um, I've got a movie and, and what I'm going to do if I double click on this movie, it'll just pop open here and it'll, I can hit spacebar on the keyboard and it'll, it'll run through it. It's, a, it's slow because After Effects doesn't really play things in real time. So um, I can double click on this one. It's a texture and you know I can move it around. You hold down spacebar and it gives you the hand tool. See that? And then I can move things around. So but that's just previewing it. It's I'm not doing anything with it yet. So, um, I need to make a composition. And when you make a composition, it also creates for you a timeline, which is another one of the things that we're going to talk about. So how do you make a composition? You can go to Composition, click New Composition, or you can just hit Command N on the keyboard. We'll do the same thing. You can click right here there's a little um, looks like a film frame click on that brings up the same composition settings window or I can take say this footage of the deer drag it and drop it right on that and it automatically creates me a composition of the right length and right size for this footage but let's look at that composition uh, dialog so create new composition, comp name. We're going to want to name this to keep things organized. Let's name it Deer. And I want this to be at 1280 by 720, which is 720p. And you can pick the pixel aspect ratio. Keep it square. Frame rate is, is set properly. And I only want 15 seconds. So I will change the duration to 15 seconds. Click OK, and what pops up is a new composition you see right here in the project window. So then what I can do is, because I only wanted 15 seconds, so I can take this deer footage, which was shot in 1080p, you can see um, the, bound, the bounds around this are bigger than my composition. So it, you know it's bigger. So I drop it in there and you can see it's cropped in. Here is your main composition, and I can go back anytime and switch this to something longer than 15 seconds. I can right click off here in the gray area. Not, I can't right click here because I'm right clicking on this footage. I have to right click off where there's nothing. There's composition settings. Bring this back up and say, you know what? 10 seconds is plenty long. That cuts it down to 10 seconds. I can also go uh, up to composition up at the menu composition settings or as you can see command K will also bring up composition settings voila and I can change the name I can change the resolution I can change anything okay so that is my timeline down here on this dear movie let's say I want to do things okay this is After Effects we move things around we motion graphic things so let's click on this triangle, twirl it down, and there's a couple of options. We got transform, we got audio. Let's look in the transform. 
and I've got all these values that I can adjust. So position, I move the position and it's moving it. So that's where all that stuff is and there's these little stopwatches that's for keyframing and we'll get into that later. Okay, over here, this is our transport keys. We can play, pause, and the important one, the RAM preview. Um, After Effects doesn't preview things in real time. If I hit play, see how slow it's going. But what I want to do, um, I want to RAM preview, so I click on the RAM preview button. And what this is going to do is it's going to load it into my RAM. So then when I do play it, it'll be in real time which is what you want. Um, there's some options here. I can change the resolution of the RAM preview to whatever I want. I want it at full. I can change, I can skip frames if I want. I'm gonna put that at zero. And so now, when I do the RAM preview by hitting the button over here or zero on the the 10, uh, the 10 keypad on the keyboard, um, it'll go through and it'll preview it's right now you can see as it's the green bars going across it is loading it into the RAM of the computer so then when I hit play it's in real time and it'll just loop what I've loaded into the into the RAM so that's important to be able to see things in real time and which you know so you can see if the animation is working the way you want or whatnot okay so a little bit more um, if I add an effect to uh, to this footage, let's just add something basic. Color correction, brightness, contrast. What's going to happen is up here in the project window, there's going to be another tab called effects controls, and that's where the brightness contrast is. Or down here, I can adjust the things here. Okay, also, um, you can, the windows in After Effects, you can adjust them however you want. I can move this over like this. Move that a little bit bigger. I want more, say more timeline. I can do that. I can even take these different windows and pop them into different places like that. So I can rearrange anything however I want to make it work good for me and if say you really screw things up um, up here there's the workspaces it's on standard now um, I can reset standard are you sure yes I'm sure boom it resets it to the way I had it there's also some already set um, preset workspaces here if you're doing animation, it's got a, what they deem the perfect setup for animations, effects. If you're doing some painting onto the footage, standard. So, also, you can even set up your own workspace, and then you click New Workspace, and you, you title it, and you can have your own custom workspace if you like something a little bit different. So... Um, one more thing I want to go over is there's also this effects and presets um, window over here and I can just search for an effect say I know the effect has something to do with with blur I don't know what it's called so I just start typing blur and it's gonna bring up all the things that have to do with blur so it's a good way of searching for an effect that you're not quite sure what it was called you couldn't remember um, so right here you can search there. A neat little trick is the uh, tilde key on the keyboard which is the little squiggly line right next to the one up um, below the escape key and whatever window my mouse is over when I hit that button it's gonna enlarge it. So it's good for quick previews. Um, so you wanna just see the footage you're working with and hide everything else. That's the way to do that. 
Here's a, just a quick basic understanding of how things are set up. 